after that it could not physically touch ceases to exist. It doesn't cease to exist. It moves on to live in perpetuity and it moves on with the state at which you love the physical body. Your experience. But your I mean, experience. You cannot, you cannot explain. I don't think you can explain that because maybe it's that part of the one of the mysteries that you talked about. But this is my idea. I believe this is not even belief, this is science. When you die as a human, because the human being is made up of matter and everything, and you know, organic matter, just the same as animals and stuff, the same component, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, those are the basics and water elements. That is human being. Human being is not made up of some special element, like, I don't no. know, wax, you can call what element P. There is no special element. It's the same basic element. So once a human being dies, once you're buried, the body decomposes, you know, maggots and worms, they come in, they decompose. The physical part yes. takes back body. its portion. The earth takes back what belongs to it. Your body the earth takes back what belongs to it. That energy. And the spirit goes back to the cosmos. What's the cosmos. Spirit? What's the cosmic. Spirit? What spirit? The spirit. The spirit that is responsible for your consciousness, your mind, your thoughts. The spirit. Your inspirations. It goes back to the cosmic power. And you have a breath in you. That is the breath of God. Con you only have consciousness because you have the brain. The brain is an organic, uh, conscious, it's an organ of the body. That we have a body. difficulty. We have a difficulty in understanding each other because you limit the human being to the level of the physical body. But I tell you that a complete human being is made up of the physical body, his analytical power, which he obtained when he ate the fruit in the garden, the forbidden fruit to be able to distinguish between good and bad, and the spirit of God that he breathed upon him after the production state of the physical matter was ended. So at this stage, there are three, uh, thing, there are three components in you. We have your physical body, your, 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 uh, your, your, your spirit uh, that interacts with you and God, and we have your, your judgmental power that is, been, that is there to guide you between what is good and what is bad. Okay. So you experience it because you have this body. Without this body, you will not be able to experience it. It is the body that gives you the taste, that gives you a feel, that gives you when you feel pride, you feel in the body, when you feel uh, any taste, you feel in the body. It's the body that gives you that experience. But it is a, it's a combination of the spirit and the body that gives you the experience. Oh. When the body now goes back to the earth, it is that spirit that goes back to the cosmic powers and it goes back in the state in which it left the body. At that moment, are you, were you in regrets? Were you guilty of something? It goes back at that level. It is when you face this enjoyment, this bliss, that we say you are in heaven due to the state in which you love the world. But when you go back in a state of despair, in a state of regret, in a state where you, you were not feeling happy, you're going to hell. Can I, can which you, means can I, it is a spiritual existence. It is a spiritual perpetuity. I want to ask you something. Before you were born, do you know where you were? You cannot know because your consciousness is only established at the moment where your physical body has been developed. And that interaction now has been established between your conscious body and your spirit uh, being. Okay. Complete development is first of all required there for you to be able to become conscious, to be able to judge where you came from. There is something. I have a, I have a, small, a small understanding of, of uh, embryology. Embryology is a process, it's a study of the process of how, this, the, how a human being develops from the mother's womb. Once you have the stem cell and the egg cell combined, then you have now that development until when the lady gives birth, and then you have the development of the child. So the question I'll ask you, at what stage of the embryological development of the fetus or of the human being does the spirit get in? Does the spirit get in? The the spirit gets into the human being once there is fertilization. It is there to guard developmental process. And consciousness is only established when the developmental process has reached a certain stage. 
how do you know that, that is where consciousness is established? How do you know? It is the spirit that there is a developmental process because you will not be it's able not to understand the it's various the differentiations that takes place within the Excel. It's you, not the spirit. It is, you, you, it is, you will not be. It is chemical signals. It is neuronal signals. It is. Uh, it is. It's, uh, there are there are other activities going on. It is the enzymes. What provokes signals, these neuronal signals to be launched? What provokes these chemical signals to be launched? There is an extra force behind such neuronal signals or chemical signals. Extra force. <laughs> the spirit. Extra force. So here is the, here is, <laughs> the spirit. Here is, here is my understanding of what the spirit. Is. What this is what I understand. The, the issue, why people believe this most of this story is because they, they might have some very little idea of, of how science operates, but they really don't have the bigger picture. I think to, because people lack the bigger picture. Even science itself does not have a complete picture of what is happening. No, science has. For science the itself part. does not have a complete picture. For the most part, it has. For example, can we take an example? What example would you like to give? Science, for the most part, it has. There are some gaps, and those gaps are at the, the boundary. But for the most part, for a very good part, science has a good explanation in terms of things like. Uh, 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 let us let us let us uh, ask when uh, the, the, the the let us explain how uh, uh, the, the, the 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 impulses that maintains the heartbeat are generated after fertilization. How are they generated? They are generated from from uh, at an, a, a region called the sinoatria node. Okay, that is the origin. How is this, How does the sinoatria node come about? It develops over process. You know, see, because of the process of uh, you know evolution, the human the human being has been developing and adapting and optimizing, in such that that is the origin of the the electron the the electric impact. There is something that happens at that level beyond science explanation. The science can pinpoint the point where it originates, but it doesn't actually define what happens at that particular instant that it initiates this action. Here is the thing. I'll give you this. So, this what you are trying to establish? If you are trying to explain, what if you are trying to say that science has limitations? I will say yes. I'll be the first to say that yes, there are limitations. But science has a very significant, enormous understanding of how the cosmos, how things work, that it is able to knock down, to knock off the idea of witchcraft, the idea of heaven, hell, the idea of some going to some heaven after the, the idea of the human, it's able to knock off so many of those things because of the full explanation. There are some other aspects which are different, like the origin, the what, ha what caused the Big Bang, what happened before the Big Bang like like uh the origin of life at the very minute level what what how did the first non-replicating matter became replicating so those are the boundaries where science is trying to get and they're working on it so but the idea that the, the cases the point is that we raise in this discussion science can fully explain uh, the question is is science trying to confirm the theory of creation or is science trying to uh, 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 refute the theory of creation. It all depends on the questions that you ask yourself, and your result will be interpreted due to, uh, according to the questions you ask yourself. What, so what it is, is the, because of the pre pre uh, preset uh, 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 research. You want to turn that is you already doing a research in a biased way that there is not this thing. So let me prove that it doesn't exist. No, it's not, it's not trying to prove that something doesn't exist. It is proving what is real. What is the creationist theory? That God, something that is mysterious, no one is able to understand it, created the universe, the world in six days. Six days. The vastness of the cosmos and everything in six days. And created human, humans. Is it the sixth day or the seventh day? Created human from the dust of the earth. Uh, by the way, I just want to tell you, because since you were saying that the universal God, the, the God is universal. According to the Muslims, God, the way God created human beings is from blood. So Allah formed human beings from blood. That is a different story. According to the Christians, God of Abraham formed human beings from the dust 
of the earth and more human beings. That is a different story. Totally two different stories from the same universal God that you claim. So we are getting different signals. Everybody, of God. everybody, everybody has why he says God created human beings from blood. Yeah, as the Bible states, is that uh, when God finished molding man from the, the soil of the earth, like you can prove that the human body is made up of the various elements that are found on, at the, on the earth cross. So you don't know at what proportion he was combining them to bring up the human flesh and bring up everything. The life of a person is found in his blood. Without the blood, the person cannot live. And he says, God gave man his breath and his spirit entered man and man became a living thing. Without the blood, it means the life is found in the blood. The spirit is found in the blood. The spirit, it is the blood that uh, 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 moves around with the spirit around your body to sustain life within your body. So, so I, it, I, it is just that we are trying to understand it from different perspectives. That is why I use the anecdote of the elephant and the blind man who try to discover it and each and every one of them touch a particular part and is able to say, no, it's like this part is, is like the full elephant. So we haven't got a clear picture, a full picture of who God is. We are trying to explain God according to his manifestations in our life. And man that should not be used God. as a point man to discredit. God. Man created God. No, man, man did not create God. God revealed himself to man. And that as you see yourself like this, I am the one who created you. And then he's trying to make man understand who he is. And he cannot reveal himself all to man because man is just like a two mega G, uh, 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 USB key in which you are trying to download a, a, a one tera information, which is not going to fill. You is, always have an error of copying. This is, this is what I understand. That are we all together understand. on this? Can we understand this one? You are like a two mega G, uh, 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 stick yeah. that is trying to download a one tera uh, 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 byte uh, uh, data on it. In what way? Yes, and it is uh, when you try to understand that God, you cannot understand it in this way because there will always be a download error. That information is incomplete, and part of the information that has already entered that stick can still be wrong, and it doesn't. God is God is mysterious, right? Mysterious yeah. means you cannot understand it's something you cannot understand. But in part, he reveals himself. Is that, well, from this last analogy that he used, that you are saying that God is so enormous, is so big, and yes. so you're you're saying that this is something that in char not... the characteristic of God, the characteristics of God, the presentation of God, the presentation of God. His this form. is something. This is something but, that is mysterious. But this mysterious thing, which is something that we can, mysterious means we, we don't know, we cannot explain it, it's, we cannot understand it. This is something it's that, larger than the cosmos. But this is the something cosmic. that is so big. This is something that is so loving. This is something that is everywhere at every time. This is something that answers your prayers when you pray. This is something that intervenes. But this is something that we don't understand. Don't try to, don't try to understand God from the way human beings have presented God to you. So that's the Bible. Try to understand that's the Bible. The Bible says God is something. Yes. God answers it by answering your prayer. Yes. You, uh, like, what I will give you as an advice is this. Don't try to understand God the way I'm trying to explain God to you. Try to establish a relationship with, you, with him. It is only through gratitude. Gratitude is that you should be grateful for, for what he has already made you know. He will make you know more about him. To me, God is a concept. Right? A concept. A metaphor. If it's a concept. Yes. If it's a metaphor, if it's a concept, what is a metaphor? What is a concept? What is a construct? Anything. What God is. So God Let is it everything. be that thing to you. God is everything. It's everything. God is everything. Yes, God is okay. everything. So, but in, the, in this case, it just takes God, uh, you know, some idea, big idea, which could be anything to, to each and every person. Okay. So. Yeah, that is a manifestation of God to you. Yeah. So we where you see God, up, that is God. Where you see God, that is God. Yeah, we don't end up. Where you see God, things. that is God. How you see God, that is God. Yeah. Okay. So God is like a. I I, I call it the other time. I say like a constant variable, something that keeps changing. A constant variable that keeps changing and everything. I think. Uh, okay, we've established that. I think. Uh, so maybe. Uh, well, it's been good. The, the last. The last. The last point that I, that I wanted us to touch is the same. I think it's just the, the opposite of, of the hellfire, which is heaven. Heaven, uh, that we already addressed. 
Yes, I already yeah, addressed it when we were trying to explain the yeah. concept of hair. So, at my my, let me just uh, make my point. In general, as I was saying, what I what I what I've noticed 